Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Darren Evans and this is BD Performance. Well, this is one of the OG cars behind me. Matt has been a long-term customer of BD Performance. He's probably been with us since about 2011, 2012. Now what I wanna do is take the opportunity to show you around this car and take you out in it. Now you might look at it from the exterior and think it's just another Focus ST, but there you'd be wrong. So this is one of the most sleeperish cars that you'll see from the outside other than a couple of subtle touches including the aero catches and a few modifications inside the vehicle along with our side stripes the car looks relatively stock although for those of you that are astute enough you'll notice that it's got a set of ap's on the front and some upgrades on the rear now underneath the bonnet of this monstrous st is our hybrid stage 3 turbo alongside that it's got the usual forged internals most recently, Matt's come back to us after about 30,000 miles of trouble-free motoring to have his valve stem oil seals done and also the turbo refurbished more than anything. So, let's go through the spec of the car, let's go through the journey from Matthew and let's go from there. So, as with most owners, each individual and each car has got a story to go with it. And the history behind this car is that Matt purchased the vehicle in 2008. It was about a year old, it was about 13,000 pounds, and it was a mount tune car. It remained like that for probably some couple of years, I think now, um, at which time he decided that he was gonna start his modification journey. Now, he started that with us. Um, we did some coilovers for him and fitted the Team Dynamics wheels for him at the same time. From there on in, he went to Jamsport and had their full 360 package fitted. In between that, he had some little modifications, obviously supporting hardware and so on and so forth. Now, Matt left us for probably about three or four months before he came back and said, you know, listen, I want you to look after our, you know, look after the car. I know I've gone to a, a JS360, but it's nothing against you. It was just what I wanted to do and I wanted to try it out. And in all credit to Jamsport, the car ran absolutely perfectly for probably a couple of years, um, at which point Matt decided to do a Helix clutch and do the forged engine in the car. Now that was done in situ. It was done at about, 20, 25,000 miles. It's now on about 55,000 miles. So you can see that it's covered um, about 30,000 miles faultlessly. And Matthew would confirm that um, without any issues whatsoever, really. Um, from there on in, uh, he had originally, when he had the 360 package, he had a stage one hybrid turbo that was second hand from Jamsport. Now that eventually kind of fizzled out and needed a refurb, which is why um, it ended up being the stage 3 turbo and obviously alongside that it had the Cyvex fitted it and as I've said before the Devil Developments did it. Right guys so we're out in uh, Matthew's Focus ST now this is 500 horsepower it is uh, running a hybrid stage 3 turbocharger with all the supporting mods now as you will all know by now um, but I'm going to list them again for those of you that are new to the channel and by the way ignore this I've just been to get some fuel for the car um, the modification for a stage 3 
is that you need a forward engine. In this instance, we've got forward internals. We've also got upgraded uh, camshafts and humans. Um, we've recently carried out a, a cylinder head port and polish to it. That's the whole reason why it's back, including the valve stem oil seals and the turbo refurbishment. So. We're all good with that one. We've got an upgraded uh, fuel system, including injectors and the associated fuel pump. It, combined with that, we've got the engine mods, which are the Anembo Plenum, the um, Pro Alloy header tank. We've got, an, uh, I do believe it's an AirTech front mounted intercooler. We've got the KMS exhaust system, which is a three inch straight through. And we've got some Turbo Smart goodies, I do believe, to go with it, i.e. the uh, recirc and the actuator. Now this turbocharger is good for about 520, 530 horsepower, but we never run these things flat out. I know there's a lot of controversy, people saying these things don't last, but Matthew's ones did last quite a long time. Uh, transmission wise we're looking at a helix clutch here it's a six paddle so it is relatively heavy, heavy alongside that we've got upgraded bushes and we've also got the bc racing coilovers now that is a great value setup there's no underbody restoration on this at all um, outside of the vehicle into other than uh, the power and transmission mods we've got the ap uh, brake setup on the front and a corresponding upgrade to the rear. Alongside that, we've got the Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.2s, I believe they are, uh, wheels uh, wrapped in some Michelin rubber. Uh, if I'm wrong, shoot me. Um, then moving on, uh, we've got the obviously the uh, RS Mark II seats, the Alcantara versions. They're dead comfy. I'll go into a little bit about what, what it's like to drive this car. Right guys, there's not a lot more for us to cover off for the, other than exactly what this car is capable of. Now I'm not going to push this car to within an inch of its life. I'm not going to be that disrespectful. Matt's not with me, he's not driving the car, so I'm going to just take this at a reasonable pace. But from my perspective, I'm held in comfortably by the uh, Mark II RS seats. They're dead comfy, if not a little bit warm in, in today's weather. This BC Racing coilovers, they're just absolutely perfect for these sorts of roads. It's planted, it's stable, and the bushes are making sure that we're not getting too much wheel trap. So yeah, for me, it's the perfect handling car. It's the perfect setup. It's a lovely mix and combination of heavy clutch. I like that sort of thing. Responsive throttle from the, actually I forgot to mention that, it's got a, uh, a larger throttle body on it. And just overall, it's just that amazing stage three hybrid it just picks up it's just like driving a normal car there's no delay no lag no waiting and then the all or nothingness of a massive turbo so you can cope with it you can relax you can drive it you can drive it normally or you can go to driving it with some gusto with no effort no real change in the way in which you're holding the steering wheel or anything. I mean, on track, obviously, this thing's gonna be a bit of a handful because you're gonna be going for it far more, but in the long run and overall, it's a thumbs up from me. This is my favorite setup. <clears throat> right, guys, so that's it from me. Um, you're going to see a lot more of me on the channel again. I'm back into it. I'm here to stay. It's near to Ford Fair, so I want to see all your smiley faces when we appear there with Mirror Image Car Care. Nick's car, Kerry's car, this car, and lots more. So if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. Give us a big thumbs up. Consider hitting that bell icon so you don't miss any of the amazing content. But the biggest thing I can ask you is to comment down below any suggestions or recommendations for future videos. Because without your input, well, we're just producing videos for the sake of it. We don't know whether you like them. So for now, I'm gonna sign out, stay safe, and see you guys soon.